Hello everyone, this is Hot SD here, and today we're going to be reviewing Ruby Volume 6, Chapter 11, The Lady in the Shoe. So if you haven't seen Chapter 11, make sure you do before watching this, because it is going to take massive spoilers for the episode itself. So please go watch it, okay, before you come back here and see what I have, like, you know, my thoughts of the episode itself. Uh, first, let's start with the, before we get to the Adam and Blake and Yane stuff, let's talk about the Gundam, not, oh, this place, it's a mech fight, okay, it wasn't Gundam, but that's pretty much what that is. But, yeah, we get this whole mech fight between, uh, everyone else and Caroline Cordobin, it's, it's an okay fight. I, I enjoy the song, the song is great in its all own ways, but the fight itself is kind of meh. I really like the slow mode effects, like, I always enjoy those tremendously, so that was very cool at the beginning of the fight. And then it keeps going on a little bit, Now I'm like, okay, yeah, this is kind of meh. You know, it's, compared to, like, the fight after it for the Blake and the Aiden Adam stuff, so it's kind of like, eh, it's okay, it's not the best fight, like, that we all have hoped. But they're probably saving the choreography for the Blake and Yane versus Adam for next week. They're definitely going to save it for that, so it makes sense why uh, it's not the best as it could have been. Which is kind of unfortunate that it could have been and probably better than what it probably should have been. But, yeah, it was alright, and also we uh, get a little bit of a cliffhanger with this, with Ruby on, like, Holding on for dear fucking life, okay? Uh, Caroline almost shot Ruby down, but of course, um... Uh, Maria, uh, shot it in missile at her. Uh, at Caroline just to make sure she can get away, like, get, like, distraction, so that they can get Ruby up. Because if Ruby falls, uh-oh, that would not be good. Uh, just imagine that, like, Ruby actually just falls, like, you know... Damn, that would because we know the next uh once we get to the end of the volume, it's gonna mess us up pretty bad going to Aaron, the voice of Blake. So it's like, oh boy, what's gonna happen here? And like we're expecting the worst to happen at this point. But damn, right, like, yeah. And that's where they and they leave us off with uh Maria trying to get away from the mech and they cut away to a cliffhanger. So we're probably gonna get the resolution of that fight next week to see what happens next. And I'm very curious of where that's gonna go go down. But yeah, it's an okay fight, it was okay. Could have been a little bit better. Um I really like the conversations between Ruby and Rice and everyone else like that. Uh those were really nice touches of like a little bit of character development, character growth, uh see where they all have been. So, we got to see some, like, comedic stuff in here as well when they were fighting. Um, especially when Ruby was falling a little bit before she was on the ledge and, like, and she gets caught in Rice's, like, um... What if I didn't catch you? Well, I know you always did. It's like... <laughs> well, she's got a good point. It's like, what if she didn't? You would have been fucked at that point, but... Yeah, it was just a nice little comedic thing that was going around here. Um, I really like the facial animations. Those have been, like, the best they've ever been. It's perfect. I love it. Um, but, yeah, uh, that's pretty much what we have to talk about for that section. Really nothing that much going on. Oh, other than that, that it was an okay fight. It wasn't anything spectacular. It was all right. The song, however, was epic. I can't wait for the soundtrack again. Jeff and Casey keep shredding it, and I'm so excited for the soundtrack to come out in the summer. Um, yeah, now let's talk about the Blake and the Ain versus Adam. First, uh, let's talk about... Uh, the fight choreography in this one is so much better than the mech fight. It's really good. There's a lot of fast pace, a lot of like final killing blows from Adam. Like he, like you can definitely tell like a lot of his like blows are meant to be killing blows at this point because he really wants her dead. So he's really trying his hardest. Um, but then. We stop a little bit, and we finally get it. The face reveal. And what's the big mystery behind it? Well, he's Brandon. He has, like, this little number thing on his face, and it's... We got in a sense a little bit of a backstory of Adam and how he kept going to where he was now, because a lot of people messed with him in the past, so he's... That's pretty much... I kind of thought it was going to be a little bit more, but I see why they did it, and, I, and I'm fine with it. It's okay. Uh, I'm... I'm it's so weird seeing Adam without the Max now. It just kind of makes him like a whole different character at this point. It's going to be really strange to notice like, okay, that's Adam. 
now. And it makes me wonder if since they did his face reveal in this episode, are they going to kill him off next week or at least in the finale? Well, we're going to have to find out what happens with that character itself. And then we also get the moment... We don't get the Blake and the Avis and Adam fight this week. We thought we were, but we did it. Most of, of the episode was the mech fight between with Caroline Cordovan and with everyone else. So that was pretty much that whole episode. And then we... Um, at the end, we get to say bye to Blake's weapon a little bit because uh, it got destroyed a lot. So we might get like a little bit of updated version of her weapon. And also we might get a new appearance, like a new clothes because her jacket got taken out. It's gone. So yeah, that's also the case. We might get new outfits in the next volume. That would be kind of nice. Uh, so make, maybe every three volumes to update them. But also we finally get... Yang's introduction, this is where I get a little bit pissed off, okay? Because they have been setting this up for years, really, since Volume 3, Chapter 11. They've been setting this up, this confrontation. And I really wanted her, like when Blake was about to stab Blake again, in the same place that he did in Volume 3, Chapter 11, I, and she came here to see that, I really wanted her to have like flashbacks in instant and basic like PTSD flashbacks and just go down on the ground and shiver in fear like how Ren did, you know, during volume four chapter eleven when he saw the Nakalave for the first time in years. Like that was probably the best part that they could have done it for Ren. But that she had a little bit too much confidence. What what I did like was is uh Bumble like gains Bike actually, um, you know, hitting Adam in the face. I thought that was absolutely hilarious. Uh, a lot of people predicted that he, she might do that, and they did. They actually did it, and it was pretty great. Um, but, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed that she didn't shiver in fear, because this is the first time she's seen Adam since Volume 3, okay? How even a piece of broken glass would trigger her PTSD from that since Volume 4, Chapter 4. I think that's when that was. But... Just seeing it, I was like, damn it, why did they do this? What made, I, I really wish they did it how, kind of like how they rendered it. Like, when they did that, this made it a little bit more extreme. You know how, you know what I'm saying, like that. But, yeah, I was a little bit disappointed with that. But then we get this whole power of friendship stuff at the end, which is, it was good. I really enjoyed it. And then, cut away to a cliffhanger. Um... Overall, it's a great episode. I just had a little bit of disappointing factors in it, but overall, it's good. So next week, we're definitely going to probably focus on Blake and Yang versus Adam and get a conclusion to the mech fight and that's going on. And I am very curious of where, like, oh, this is messing you up is going to come in from Erin because she posted a GIF because of that. So it makes me wonder if this next fight for Blake and Yang versus Adam is going to be like uh, Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan versus Darth Maul. Okay, because we know at one point, Qui-Gon actually does die. So it makes me wonder if one of the characters will die from here. Um, and then the building gets cut off. I would really like it, okay. Um, just, to make his, just to make the fight actually have consequences and, you know, not be like he Adam loses through a power of friendship. I would really appreciate it if they had the balls. Okay, if they actually had it to kill off Yang. Or Blank. One of those two. I would actually really... As much as I like these characters, I would think... Well, this is now going into prediction territory. And I'll place my thoughts again once I do the Chapter 12 video. But... Overall, good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. If you want to hear my extended thoughts on that, go to watch Chapter 12 prediction once that comes out. But... Yeah, overall, it's a good episode, so remember to leave a like, remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for future videos like these. I'll see you all next time. Bye!